Hi everyone, I'm Bonnie from Make Time to Craft. Today I'm sharing a pretty card and pendant gift set that I made. I'll talk about the digital collage sheets that I use and I'm also going to show you how to make this quick and easy pendant. The supplies you need are a digital collage image or photo of your choice, none design glue, a paintbrush, any kind of paintbrush is fine to apply the glue, one inch clear glass domes or cabochons, one inch pennant trays, and then some sort of um, ball chain or the necklace of your choice to use for the pendant when you're done. These trays and glass domes also come in oval and square and rectangle shapes, but I decided I was going to use what I had on hand and it works fine even with the oval image that I selected. I purchased all my supplies on Etsy and I got enough to make 20 necklaces for a little over $20 with shipping, which I thought was pretty good. There's a wide variety of bottle cap or pendant digital collage sheets from a multitude of sellers on Etsy. I originally purchased the digis with the idea that I was going to make cards with them and they are really high resolution images so they do enlarge really well. Then I thought it would be fun to try to make gift sets and use the images as they were intended and they do make a nice inexpensive quick gift for a friend. This sheet is from Cobra Graphics on Etsy and she has a huge variety of really nice designs if you want to check her out. So I'm working with a non on a nonstick mat. I also have a little movable one that I use when I'm working. And the first thing you do is you're going to, oh, I also have a one inch circle punch. Just select the image that you're going to use and center the part of the image that you want to catch in the pendant and go ahead and cut that out. So I have my image. I'm going to push everything aside for so we can stay in the center. And this is just, you're going to be surprised how very easy this is. All you need to do is cover your image with a thick layer of the glue and you're working on a nonstick mat so you can be a little messy it's okay once you get a good thick coating make sure everything is covered you're going to take one of the glass domes and you're going to center it on the image and you're going to press really hard because you want to get all the bubbles out the edges and once you have all the bubbles out, I'm just using a craft knife to lift it. As long as it's centered, there's no bubbles that you can see. You're going to turn it over and you're going to let it sit there until it dries. So I have one that I've already dried to save time. It's a different image. And I'm going to use the silver tray for this one. And this time we are just going to put a thin coat of the glue all around on the bottom and a little bit up the sides of the tray. And once you get a good coating in there, you're just going to take the glass dome piece, drop it in there, make sure it's facing direction you want it before you push it all the way in and then I just take a little piece of paper towel or you can use a q-tip wipe the excess glue and you're going to set that aside to dry once it's dry you can give it a good clean the glass dome with a little Windex or some soap and water. And then all you have to do is pick your chain and thread it through. And it's as quick and easy as that. And you got a quick little pendant that you can give to a friend with a matching card.
Thanks so much for joining me and learning how to make these fun pendants. If you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll be notified when I add new videos. Happy crafting!